Yeah, hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mine Deutschcoin on a Windows 10 PC. So this can be done on literally any Windows 10 PC. You don't need to have a crazy graphics card or anything else. Uh, it's a beginner's way of getting started and how to mine coins. There's a few things that you're gonna need. One, you obviously need a Windows 10 PC. Uh, the second one is you need to have a wallet. Now, if you don't already have a wallet, you can check out one of these two videos on how to install it on your computer because once you've mined the coins, it needs to send it somewhere and you need to send it to your wallet. Link for both videos will be in the description below. Next is a referral code. Now you don't require a referral code, but what it does is reduce the transaction fees. Uh, so you get more money out of it. It's a good idea to use a referral code, but again, it's not required. We're gonna provide ours, but you can use any referral code. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna need is to create a rule on your computer to allow this program to run. Now Windows might see it as malware or some kind of virus. This is not a virus. Most mining tools will come up with an alert like this on a Windows 10 PC. So we'll show you how to enter in an exclusion rule and we're gonna get started right now. So here we are at the desktop. The first thing that we're gonna do is create an exclusion rule so Windows knows that this file is gonna be safe. So we're gonna create a new folder by right-clicking on the desktop, go to new and folder. And since it's called unminable, I'm gonna just call the folder unminable and I'll just move it over here in the corner. Then we're gonna to go to our start menu and inside the search, we're gonna type in virus and threat protection. It should come up right away. There it is at the top, we'll click on it. And in here, we're going to scroll down and we're gonna manage settings under virus and threat protection. And then here we're gonna scroll all the way down to exclusions and click on add or remove exclusion. And now we're gonna click on add an exclusion button, click on folder, cause we're adding a folder. And now we just need to find this folder on the desktop. So we're gonna navigate here to the desktop and select the folder, select folder, say yes to the prompt. And there we go, it's popped up. So now we know this folder is gonna be in the rule book to manage and exclude files in it. You might still get a prompt, doesn't always automatically do it depending on the files that you put in here. And later in the video, we'll show you what happens. Uh, so we're gonna open up our browser now, and now we're gonna download the unminable tool. So we're gonna type in unminable in the Google search. It's gonna be the first thing. The official URL is unminable.com. And at the top, you can see that there's a download link here. You can click on it. And if we scroll down a bit, we have the packed and unpacked version. We're gonna be downloading the packed version, which is the first link here. You can click on it and it'll automatically download. And if it doesn't happen right away, it depends on what browser you're using. So back at the main page, you can just right click on it and then say save as. So that's another way if it doesn't download right away for you and then it'll download. You can see we already have it here. Okay, so now we can open up this folder, the zip file. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, so now we're gonna open up the compressed file so here we go. This is where it sees it as a potential threat. We click on it and then we can say that it's allowed on the device by selecting this and then clicking on start and say yes to the prompt. And now from this point on, Windows is not gonna view it as a threat and allow us to copy and paste it into whatever folders we need. Uh, so we're just gonna drag and drop it in here and we'll let it copy over. And then we can just close out of all these extra windows we have open. So now we can go inside our folder and here's the executable file. We just have to double click on it and it'll open up. And there's only a few things that we need to do uh, when we're setting up this program. Okay, there we go. It's loading up now and we'll just minimize the other screens here. Okay, so the first thing that we have is the agreement window and you can just click on continue here. And now you can either use your graphics card or CPU. Now, if you have a really good graphics card with lots of RAM in it, go ahead and select that. We're using a low end PC, so we're just select CPU and then click on next. And in here, you can type in the coin that you want. We're doing Deutschcoin, but you have many different coins that you can use. We're gonna use this one, and then you're gonna enter in your wallet address. Now, remember at the beginning of the video, I told you that you need a wallet. If you don't have a wallet, you need to install it because you need the coins to be deposited somewhere, which is your wallet. And what we'll do is we're just gonna paste in our wallet address here. And then below it, you have a little link that says, I have a referral code. Now this is the part where you don't have to do this part. It's optional, but it's gonna save on transaction fees. So we're gonna provide our referral code, which is right here. 
and it's also in the description. So there you go, you can see that you're saving 0.75%. And that's what I was explaining about uh, using the referral code. So you just paste it in and then click on start. And here we go. So it's automatically going to start mining. We're done. So it's going to start mining the coins uh, using your processing power to do the calculations. And then it takes a little piece of that transaction fee and it's going to keep it aside for you to be deposited in your wallet. Now it only makes a deposit after 50 Dogecoins have been collected. And let's quickly take a look at the settings here. There isn't much. So we'll just click on it right now. It's selected as low. So the intensity is low. It's not going to be using a lot of CPU power. If you switch it to high, it's going to increase the power, decrease the hash rate. It's going to mine more coins, but it's also going to increase the intensity on your computer, which means slow things down. Uh, if you're planning on multitasking it, I don't recommend high, but if you're just going to leave it idling like I am, then you can leave it as high. And if you switch it to low, that means it'll be running in the background collecting money for you, which isn't a bad idea. And before we finish up here, I'm just going to show you the website and just a few things that you can check while you're uh, using the tool. So let me just open up the browser here and uh, I'll expand it all the way so you can see it properly. This is what you currently have reached as a balance. And then you can have it pay once you've reached the minimum 50 Doge automatically into your wallet. So you can have it set up or you can set an amount that you want to have it sent to. Uh, and it'll show you a, a history of all your payments as well. Uh, you get your own referral code to use and you can also give it to other people. And then you just have a history down here to show how much you've been mining over time. And that in a nutshell is how to use Unminable on a Windows 10 PC to earn some money. Now it's not going to be a lot of money, but it's going to be some money, which is better than nothing. And I think that it's just a fun experiment to try on your own. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.